it's a role that any actor my age would love to do. It's, it allows you to climb right into insanity. Um, and it, it, you go through great love, great enjoyment of uh, being around his daughter, the fear of going mad. She's deathly afraid that this will plague her as well. Because, I mean, there's a moment in the show where she asks him, what is the age uh, at which he begins to experience um, the, on the onset of it? And he is in his mid-20s, and the show opens on the eve of her 25th birthday. So um, I think she, she is also going through a very difficult period of her life. And so it's hard to uh, distinguish what is madness and, and what, makes, what makes us mad. Is it because we hear the voice of our parents or is it because we're not socially capable? Um, she's terrified of it. And so the whole thing sort of permeates the play, I would say, because she's just spent years watching her father succumb to this, a, a person who, who really... Um, so much of his life was uh, was about his mind and his brilliance, and that's actually how she uh, relates to him. What what you have to do is is make a madman be sane to himself. He doesn't think he's mad. As a matter of fact, there's a very funny conversation they have at the beginning where he says, that, you know, uh, the thing about mad people is they don't think they're mad, whereas I am mad. And his daughter points out the flaw in his logic. It's, it's very funny. The idea of genius and madness and the connection between the two, um, it is a little scary when you think about it. I actually have a couple times reading in reading the play asked, have asked myself that same question. Like, oh, I'm crazy, I think. So it's, um, it's a, an accessible play in that way because I think it's a question that we all ask. Thank you.